Hey, how's it going? I wanted to talk about the bass and how the bass can reach for notes in a chord progression. And to me, that's really, really cool because you can have something like this. That's wide open. Listen to that, right? That's wide open. You play the root. So you can start walking and reaching. Right there, I hit a sour note, right? That's not in the C major scale, I started in C. So this song is probably in C major, I think. But I threw that in there, so again, the thing about bass, I mean, I was cruising all over the place. I was doing some things that were lyrical, like. And now the things I'm playing, they're informed on just all of the years of listening to music. That's why to me, I've always said the biggest lesson I can teach anybody, the number one is to be a music fan first. It might sound kind of nerdy, but what it means is that it's so important to just know a ton of great music and listen to a ton of great music. Because what happens is it soaks in you, it goes in you from everything from just the classics way back to whatever. Just Elvis Presley, and then the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, millennial, 2010, 2020. Great music today is also great too to listen to. There's great music being produced. Listen to it, listen to what it's doing. What it will do is it will give you an instinct and a gut to know what you want to do. There's so many things I can do right there. I can do anything. It all depends too. Like, like there's just so many choices you can make. I mean, listen. place this it's whatever the song recalls for that doesn't really sound that cool unless I wanted that right maybe I wanted that but I don't really want that that's kind of um, mellow and kind of a little bit groovy whatever and so I, I, I felt like the bass could tie together the emptiness in a good way and then there's also choices that I mean this could literally be like a seven-part video um, breaking down all kinds of different things. There's, uh, in the verse, you're gonna get more mellow in the verse. You're gonna start going. Maybe one note as a lead note to the next note. Uh, maybe not at all, maybe you're just playing this. Because in the verse, you wanna get more mellow, you want the vocals to come up. But in like a pre or a, you know, a part where it's not singing, or it's in between the little, And so now, if, if you're uh, kind of sitting there going, oh, well, that's great, like, I'll listen to all this music, but how do I really do it? I'm going to give you a couple ways, two ways, to think about um, what you could do in this chord progression. So if you're at home right now and you're watching, and it's C, G, you can think about walking up to each note. That's very simple, right? So you're kind of going... This one you go like B C D. You follow me? You see what I'm doing there? All I'm doing is walking the two notes in the scale up to that note. So if you're starting here in C, I'm doing A, B, and C. A's in the scale, right? Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's the sixth note of the C major scale. B's in there. So I'm going. And that's in there, the E's in there. Well, that one's not. This, the F sharp's not in there, but it sounds cool. Listen. Cool, right? All I'm 
do in there, that little lick. I'm just doing the root and then push from the fifth up two and then hit the octave. That's just the octave right there, see? And then you can do that, just a little flare. That's all that was. So we're walking up two notes, right? And, and then the flip side, walk down every time. Let's try that. So I would go, here's a C, so I'd go. Right, and then I go. No, I wouldn't do F sharp, I'd go here, G. There's G right there. So to walk down to D, I'd go. I could, I could make a choice. I could do um, E or F. I could go. So it goes, uh, walk down, walk down, walk down. I could go. Or I could do, um, no, I like uh, E, I like G and E. So let's try that. Let's try walking down two notes to each one. Rude. some reach on the bass. Here we go. Maybe just one, not two. so good but you see what that's doing so now mix it up a little bit I'll give you a third one the third one to do to do each of those to mix in a little walking down and walking up so a little little surface little axle there so if you're going here maybe you go up then you go down that's cool right then it starts to just kind of mix things up do 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 I just like that keep it simple that's kind of walking from here. That would be, that's kind of walking up because A is underneath D. I like walking up to C. And on even one note, you could do two things. You could walk down to it and then walk back up to it. If you're just thinking about that, it will give you a lot of really cool choices that you can, um, choices and just melodic things you'll hear in your head in terms of listening to this. Sometimes just listen to it and don't play. You'll get stuff in your head. You ever, you know, when you're like, where you sometimes get the most musical ideas is like in the shower or driving in your car or like whatever, just doing something that you're not expecting to, to get it taking a walk or whatever, bike ride or something. Oh, I, I hear what it should be doing. And you know why, remember? Because you were informed by all the good music you listened to, that huge degree you got by listening to just years, whatever, lots and lots and lots of great music. You will get a good intuition from doing that about where things should go. And it's all up to your genre and your taste what you want to do. If you want to do like an aggressive hard rock or metal or whatever, you could make this. It's just, they're all just chords. This is played in kind of a lazy looping rhythm, but if it was played all heavy and slayer, then there's that. Um, but again, that's, so that's up to you. One last thing, uh, tip I'm going to give you. If you're playing around in kind of a progression like this, one cool trick to do is to play the fifth beneath your root. So you're sitting here going, on the D. That, boom, da. It's such a cool little trick. Obviously, you can't do it on the low string because there's no string beneath that, but here. So that, the fifth of C is G. So don't go. You can't, but it's really, really cool to play the fifth of a certain particular note on the low version of that fifth. I could do the low and then I go high in the G. In here. That's 
kind of rad. Anyway, so uh, that last little tip, make sure to sometimes use the fifth as a low thing that's, that's beneath your root in a little bass line. Uh, it's a fun little trick. So that's it. The bass has reach. So if you're hearing a chord progression and <laughs> yeah, that's it. All right, so that's it for the bass has reach. It does. You can reach and go find notes over there, over there, over there, grab it over there, bring it in, and it kind of changes the tune. Um, it really will give it color and dimension um, from whatever style of rhythm you choose and whatever, whatever notes you choose. So have fun with it. All right, thanks for watching. I'm going to jam.